Jump now, jump, jump, jump. Watch, watch. Welcome to the beautiful map living in, in battle for middle of one on a page 2.22. That's gonna be the first 3v3 gameplay since a very long time. And hopefully you guys will enjoy. We will get to play with the Rohan faction. Our team is Rohan, Rohan and Gondor versus the enemy team with Isengard, Isengard and Rohan. Actually, we have in total three Rohans in this 3v3. And I'm happy about that one because uh, Gimli, as we are on the most recent version of the patch 2.2, the version 3.8, got some big adjustments, okay? He's a bit more expensive now, but trust me on that one, he's worth every single penny. And this will be the perfect opportunity for myself to showcase you guys the strength and the power of the dwarf in battle for Middle Earth, okay? So, oh my god, to be honest, Gimli was always strong, you know, uh, but there are some heroes that are not very strong at the beginning of the game, they need some levels, and Gimli is definitely one of these heroes, he doesn't really add too much to the table with level 1, but the second he gets level 3, he unlocks his leap attack, but the true power lies with level 5, within the dwarf, okay, then he unlocks his slayer, which makes him to like a killing demon, okay, Hold on a second. Don't die, please. Dude, Mary, do something. Don't die, please. Oh my. Okay. I don't want to talk about it. Please, 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 please. But guys, I forgot to recruit uh, Mary this game. Okay. Please, please. I really forgot to recruit Mary. Silly me. Okay, so we will fill up the base with the farms to boost our eco, and then we will make a hero party. When I like, when I play Rohan in 3v3 matches, I like to go for the hero party, okay? Rohan is the most potential, the heroes with the most heroes available in BFME 1. We have Gimli, Legolas, Aragorn, I mean the three hunters, then we have Eowyn, Elma, Theodin, and Mary. We have seven heroes in total. That's more than three times more and when Isengard has to offer, okay? And even though we're against two Isengards, we will have to give the Lords multiple targets, but only one option. He can only cripple one of our heroes, and he better be crippling, you know, Gimli. We will lose this, but it's okay. We force him to use Warchant. We are level 3 with the Hobbit. That's amazing. Auriko is not looking too shabby. And we will get stronger and stronger once the dwarf has been recruited. Let's cloak him here so we can have the vision around the trolley. That's very important. Now we will recruit Gimli, the son of Gloin, the best friend of Legolas and the true friend of Aragorn. I like 3v3s, you know. 3v3s are always fiesta. I have not played a single 3v3 on a patch 2.2 which has not been ending in a fiesta. Okay, my ally lost this area, but it's okay. We will reclaim it. I will be buying some Grand Harvest. If you don't know, guys, the game mechanics is working like this. The bigger the map, I mean, the more players are involved into the gameplay. In this case, it's six players, so it's like a big game. The faster you will get resources. So the this is nothing like 1v1 or 2v2. 3v3s or 4v4s, you basically get resources like crazy. That's why Mordor is so strong in those um, 3v3, 4v4 matches. Because you can easily get trolls, you can easily get Nazgûl and Witch King. But fortunately for us, there is no Mordor included in this 3v3 match. And here comes Gimli. There is a Lurtz, he's level 3. Uh, but I think he used the cripple on the troll. That means he has no cripple. And in order to kill this um, Lord, I will show you a trick what you can do with Rohan. What most people don't know um, is to recruit Eoma and Eowyn. So you have the chance to throw multiple projectiles at your opponent's face, okay? When you play Rohan. We are talking about extra from Gimli, Spear throw from Eoma, Smite from Eowyn, Hulk Strike from Legolas. And if you do all of this pretty much simultaneously, you can one-shot almost every single hero in the game. Dude, stop moonwalking! This Mary is killing me today!
I need to get the... You see the, dam the damage now from Gimli against the Leon? That's buff, by the way. Look the damage, you know. Level 3, beautiful. Get the money. Okay, we need to leap. Okay, don't leap. You better run, Lourdes. I need heal though. I need to kill one Rohirrim and then I will be getting kill. Ah, uh, one more Rohirrim I need to kill. But we have now Eowyn. We can trample into this maybe. There are no pikemen around. We can uh, trample into the crossbow man. We have also no heavy armor. They are not killing too much damage with the trample. But my... Get Look the extra now. Watch the extra. Boom! Double kill! <laughs> now we have heal boys. Now we have heal. Look at this, you know? Look at how many spear throws we have. We have double Rohan. The, oh, Lords, Lords, well, watch this. Watch Lords, please. Watch Lords. Boom. Watch Lords. Boom. Look, Eowyn's damage. I'm telling you, Eowyn is so underrated too. She's so strong against heroes, my friend. This Lords think he's safe inside the tower. They even got the last on the creep. And we got even a part of the money that's amazing. Lords shoots all the time. But he shoots. Oh. I want to finish him, but I can't. I'm crippled with Eoma, and my Eowyn has no smite. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, there is another Eoma spear throwing. <laughs> get out there, Lourdes. Lourdes, you ain't escaping this. I will try to get the kill with my Gimli, actually. You know, this way my Gimli gets to be level 5. That's going to unlock the speedy goals, honest. And we will be running every single hero down. Oh, my goodness. What a perfect start with Gimli. What a perfect start. Throw X on him. Throw X on him. Where is he? Oh, but I got... I didn't see the fireball coming off screen. Boom! Now, revenge time. You killed my Eowyn. Wizard must pay. Watch this. Watch this. Boom, chakalaka. <laughs> boom, chakalaka. Boom, boom. Do, 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 do. Jump. Gimli, Gimli. Hapuya. Gimli. Almost level 7. Dude, did you guys see my damage against Saruman? I'm telling you, man. Level 5 Gimli is the best hero in the game. Best hero in the game. It, the, the thing is, the earlier you recruit him... Oh my god. Be careful there. Gimli. Gimli-san. Be careful. I'm gonna throw X here. X. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Boom! <laughs> Double kill. <laughs> okay. I will not survive this one. There is a Lourdes... I will heal, but it doesn't change anything. I will get crippled, won't I? Yeah, and I will get crippled. I knew it. But Gimli, you served me very well. Oh, he healing. You see my damage, dude? I mean, I'm highly leveled. Be careful, Legolas. Bail, 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 bail. Okay. Lords, we gotta be careful. He's not more crippled, but um, he... I mean, our Legolas is level 1, so our damage is not gonna be the greatest. Let's put him inside the tower. And kill what we can kill. We gotta focus on the Rohirrim first, okay? And spear throw one shots them. Kaboom. Yes. Now they need to bail. And remember, there is no more cripple. So I can sit in the tower and keep shooting with Legolas all the time. Okay, I think Faramir was able to finish off the horse. I can't commit into this. I want to really hard focus this um, Lourdes, but he's kind of getting away from me. My Legolas will be exposed very soon. Watch this, boys. Watch this. Spear throw. X throw. I mean, uh, spear throw also. And hook strike. Do it. Heal, heal me, heal me, heal me. Nice heal. Thank you, guys. Okay. Don't die, Lego. Lego, 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 Lego. You see how fast we killed. Did you guys see how fast we killed uh, Lourdes? That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. You need to listen to me, guys. People don't underest uh, people underestimating this, you know? That's the power of Rohan. The hero power. Spear, 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 X. Spear, spear, X, hoax strike. And even the strongest hero will lose so much HP. They won't, Even if they don't die, they will be very close to be dead. And usually you have an army, you know, while you're doing this st stuff. And your army will be able to finish off any hero. I'm talking about any hero besides maybe Aragorn with Anduri's sword, you know. But like Gandalf, for example, doesn't stand a chance. Come on, Gimli. The problem is the higher the hero you lose, the more wait time, recruit time, or revive time you need to be kind of investing into. It's like a punishment. You also will go for Aragorn, Aragorn's son. We should be in a good spot. 
we should be in an amazing spot. But there is a huge army. Dude, guys, I'm telling you, we have still so much potential in this game. What you have seen from Gimli is nothing yet, okay? The true power is going to pop off very, very soon. Uh oh Be careful. There is a huge army. Holy moly. I want to spear throw so badly. They would ask, be careful, my friend. Be careful, Gimli. Uh, uh, okay. Aragorn is here. And Gimli. So Aragorn and Gimli. Nobody tosses a dwarf. Oh, oh, oh. I have no heal. Press S and Volk. The damage from the Vorks are is actually kind of crazy. They are using also the Palantir. Can I get... Dude, Legolas, you're so weak. You know, dwarves are better than elves or what? Oh man, they are coming. They are coming. Boys, watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay, watch this. We need to revive our heroes. My, our money is not looking too bad because we had nothing beside heroes. And we have also Grand Harvest on our farm, so we should be good. Oh, he will miss it, right? Yeah, he missed it, but it's okay. It's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal, okay? They are not rotating now, boys. They are rotating now. We have, uh, we have not a very weak army, but I think their army is stronger. But we have something that their army doesn't have. And this is the dwarf with level 7, okay? So he better... Like, in this situation, Isengard needs to know who the biggest threat is. Now, some might think there is a Gandalf. You gotta be crippling him. No, you don't need to cripple Gandalf, man. You have so much leadership, you just kill him. Even without cripple. But you need to cripple Gimli, guys. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna use extra here. Take this on your face. Kaboom. They don't die yet. They have too much leadership. Now, it's time to rock and roll. Watch this. Watch this, boys. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh. Don't watch this. Don't watch this, guys. Don't, 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 don't watch this. Don't watch this. Okay, now we are in a terrible spot. Look the damage against Lourdes. We are melting him. Watch this. Watch this damage. Now you can watch again. Boom. <laughs> Gimli is also he's tanking a lot. Like Slayer is so strong. Our heroes are some heroes are dying everywhere. I don't know. Now we gotta be, be careful with Gimli. Without Slayer, he's way too immobile. I wanna use ability on this Lurtz. I wanna kill him so badly. Extra, beautiful extra. Smite ability from Eowyn. Kaboom! And he survived. How? Oh, Eoma. Uh, Aragon is fighting. What a disastrous game uh, gameplay. Oh, Eowyn, what are you doing? Beautiful blast from Sar Gandalf. But uh, he's gonna die too. What is happening in this game, man? I've land now. I've almost leap attack. And I'm gonna use leap plus land if they keep staying. Legolas, don't die. Legolas, 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 Legolas. Use ability to get more tankiness, but it doesn't matter. I, he will die anyway. I'm losing all the heroes, by the way. Because I only keep, it, keep paying attention to... Gimli, but it looks like they are running away. I want to use my um, Slayer to keep chasing them. That's a level five unit. I don't want. I don't want them to survive. The second the Slayer is available, I will be chasing them. As, first of all, boom, and now use Slayer and don't let the level five escape. Okay. Okay. We somehow defend it. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. Okay. Jump, jump, Gimli. No, 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 no. This guy is trying to dodge me. Jump now, jump, jump, jump. Boom. <laughs> Gimli, my favorite. Look at this damage. What? And the, the most funny thing is we are zooming. Like nobody can catch us. We are legit zooming around the map. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now we will be making an elven army. We need some army, dudes. Like heroes are very good, but I think the enemy army is so strong that we have only one leap attack you know what i mean if like we can only jump once watch this watch this watch the, the, the damage now kaboom <laughs> each level you scale with damage output and the damage you gain from each level you get also increasing the damage of your abilities like for example the extra extra a long range ability which will help gimli to level up and it deals bonus damage to horses so it's very good ability right Be careful there, Faramir. Dude, I am having so much fun this game, dude. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay. Besides losing my heroes like a noob. Please, please. 
But with three power points, so I think at this point it's just like better to not go for ants. I'm pretty tempted to just go for the cloud break. I think that's the better choice, you know? Legolas back in the business. We can level up those elven archers too with Legolas. So they get from level two to level three, which again, you know, pretty much the same example like with the with the um, heroes. Each level will make them stronger. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. All right. We are set. We are go. We are good to go. We have a crazy strong army, but there is a war rider army in my arm in my castle. Hmm. To be honest, that's what, that, that's what they're supposed to be doing all the time, you know? But they were Rohan. Why didn't Rohan go for the for the Rohirrim spam? Like, there are like multiple different ways to play Rohan in a 3v3 match. One of the most common ways to play is you rush Theodin. There are plenty of creeps available. I will represent the Thank men you for of the appreciate it. There are plenty of creeps available, you know? And... With that being said, you can get your theory into level 4. Now you can use Glorious. What's happening? Hold on a second. Where is Gimli? Gimli, 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 Gimli. Gimli, okay, okay, watch this. Watch, 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 watch. Ha Boom! <laughs> are we done yet? No, we are not done. We are not done. Watch this damage. Pew! Four hits, all you need. Heal. Run him down, run him down, run him down, run him down. Run him down. Run him down, Gimli level nine and a half, boys. <laughs> the thing is, you can't kill Aragorn that fast, you know. Aragorn is a tanky boy with Anduri plus Blade Master. He's not going to die and go down that fast, you know. Yeah, dude, that's the scary part. That's why what happens if you level up your, if you let your opponent to level up his heroes endlessly, you know. Now Gimli is almost level ten. He's not gonna get much stronger than he already is, but he doesn't need to get any stronger than he already is. He doesn't need to. He's already in a phenomenal spot. And when we get level 10, we get a little bit damage boost, a little bit tanky boost. That's gonna be great too. But unfortunately, we are losing the outpost now as we are moving. So, can't be everywhere at the same time. We have only 150 command points available. The more people involved, the less command points will be available for each faction. Evil always having the double amount, so evil have 60 is uh, 300 command points, good have 150 command points in a 3v3 match. If you play like a 4v4, you have only 120 command points for good and 240 command points for evil, you know. Because if you get too many units, it's an old engine, the game won't be able to handle this. Watch this, don't, 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 don't look, they are trying to escape from me. What, what, what are they doing? Watch this, watch this. <laughs> this is so funny. I don't know what's happening, but Rain is active. That's for certain. I have no leadership available. My heroes keep fighting here. But there is Aragorn. Aragorn is a dangerous hero for Gimli, to be honest with you. And he's... Don't die. Oh, he killed my Aragorn. All on Aragorn. All on Aragorn. Look, this Aragorn is smashing my Gimli. Smashing him legit. So thank you, man. I mean, because I have no leadership, right? That's the problem. Kill the three heroes first. Kill the heroes that you can kill fast first. We kill Theodin. Now we're gonna kill Eoma. Eoma is dead. Dude, nice. Okay, now we gotta bail. I don't wanna lose more heroes than I already did, okay? That's what's that's what up. Okay, so but unfortunately I lost my Aragon and Gimli. That's that hurts. Okay, my ally was using the end summon, but I'm not gonna go for the ends. I'm gonna go for the what happened? Elma, why are you chasing? Oh man, I'm losing my mind. Okay. I'm, you know what would be the worst thing ever? If the Aragorn from the enemy team kind of gets level 10 or something. You know, that would be legit the worst thing ever, dude. I hope that won't happen. Now we are pro broke. Like, we had so much money. And now we are poor. But my army was able to survive at least uh, four battalions of my army that's very good um and theodin is also was able also was also able to survive english hard okay for the next fight rain should be on cooldown and we have cloud break cloud break won't really stun them because they have like 
over level 3 and they have multiple heroes with the resistance to fear. But at least it will lower their armor, which kind of makes it easier for us to kill the army. But we need to heal up a little bit. That's the plan. Okay. And yeah, now, because Gimli is level 10, we need to wait a long time to get him back in the business. You know, it's going to take a while. I can't believe that Aragorn smashed Gimli so hard. You know, Aragorn obviously is still the stronger 1v1 hero. The strongest, actually. Like, there is no hero that can stand still and fight Aragorn. Not Gandalf, not Lourdes, not Gimli, nobody. And Blademaster is active. Aragorn, the best wardman. Loki, I mean, Aragorn is a player, uh, champion or, you know, a hero that can even fight Balrog. You know what I mean? That's, that's how strong he is. Okay. Look at the army from us, dude. Oh, nice. We got leveled up. That's good. More levels. Now that's teamwork. All together. All in. All in them. Gimli, come on. The problem is Gimli will need a long time to reach this area. <laughs> but don't use Slayer to be faster, you know? Because then Slayer will be on cooldown. Tech. Tech. Destroy them all. But there is an army coming now from the bottom right side but they, but they are giving up this area on rohan we can legit destroy him when he gives up the area now we have leadership back in the business cloud break to stun them or to you know lower them uh, lower their speed and armor i want to get level four with Kiltirin. Kiltirin first big mistake from him aragon is getting chunked too hulk strike do it do it do it do it do it Oh, that's, you know, good damage, but still, Aragon, thank you, boy. Okay, maybe it's not, um, maybe you should not fully commit. Okay, we need Gimli here. My ally is under attack, so defend him. And he has no outpost, so that means if the castle or the camp falls, he will be defeated. So we need to be here. Aragon, the protector of the white tree. But we need Gimli. Gimli, come on, man. Speed up. I know dwarves are not made for the long run, but... What's happening here, man? My army from... The army from my ally is getting slaughtered. We can switch to formation. So we get immunity to fear. Uh, to uh, knockbacks, you know. The elves are slightly acting like a pikeman. The revenge damage is by far not as high as from the pikeman. Eowyn... Dude, Elvin, you are so weak. <laughs> Elvin, I mean, she did a phenomenal job at the beginning of the game with the hero abilities. I mean, with the hero damage she dealt with the smite. But watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch and learn. Kaboom! Are we done yet? No. Gimli, can you kill this wizard real quick? Where are you running? Where are you running, Saruman? Watch this. Boom. You can't get away from me. You can't get away from me, my friend. Boom. Look the damage. Nice, beautiful blast here from the young Gandalf. Kill him, Gandalf. He's still light in Gandalf. Oh, there are there come the spear abilities from Eomen and Eowyn. He's killing the Lords. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, what's happening over here? They stole all my army. Legolas, kill, kill Saruman, please, Legolas. The Saruman is on the roof. He's in a safe spot. Uh, let's kill Legolas first. Let's kill again the weak heroes. Don't focus on Aragorn too much. Now Saruman is coming back. Where is he coming back? He's gonna die. I'm gonna kill, kill you, Saruman. Kill Saruman. Nice. Saruman is dead. Be careful, Legolas. Don't die. Use Knife Fighter for the tankiness. They're going for the structural damage. Destroying my, you know, statue. Uh, destroying the statue and wells. There's also a Gimli. We lost all our army, by the way. Uh, don't die, Ilma. Okay. But they are playing not like us. We are trying to play together, but they are attack. They are not playing bad either, you know? That's also not good, uh, very bad. Like, attack two points at the same time, making it harder for us to defend. Because Isengard army is so strong. Um, that's, my elves can't really do much about that. No. With Rain. Rain is like the solution to their problems. And remember, they got two Isens. 
That means if they kind of time it well with the freezing rain, we will barely have any leaders available for the entire <laughs> six minutes duration. And then it's going to reset every time and it's available again and again and again. But we have almost AOD. Army of the Dead. That's good. Killing is almost level 4 too. Almost. Three archers. Boom, level from level 2 to level 3. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, we are actually holding this outpost. Huh? Okay. Why, why they are not fighting? Jump. Kaboo! <laughs> Dude, Gimli. I love you so much, man. I was always a fan of Gimli, even in the films. This ends won't do anything, my friend. We are fighting around the statue, you know? You have like crazy leadership here. What can they do <laughs> against so much fire? Nothing. They have also glorious charge. I'm gonna use it from the horse of my ally. I'm gonna use it. Watch this. Now for us. Now for ruin in the red zone. Look, the, look, the enemy units glowing too, right? Crazy glow. Oh, but I can't, I can't cancel it. Kill, 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 Gimli, 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 Gimli. Nice, we killed him. That's good. That's good. Now use hoax right there. Heroes, you need to always manually do it, you know. Boom, Legolas damage is also nutty. Look this. Are they all level two, those Rohirrim archers? Are they really all level two? Did he just make them? I'm asking because I have Cloud Break and I can stun them when you when they're level two. I think Gim I think Tyrion died, and it means they have no resistance to fear. I'm assuming that, but we shall see. Let's now go, 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 go. We will definitely 100% get EOD from this fight. What is Tyrion doing? Tyrion, one more hit, dude. Oh man. Oh yeah, they can't move. They're level two. There's no resistance to fear. Tyrion is far away. Watch this. Gimli, 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 Gimli. I will use EOD here. 100%. I'm gonna just jump now. Jump here. Woohoo! AOD available. That's gonna be a big one, boys. Watch the AOD. I summon you to fulfill your oath. What say you? I feel. Oh, look. Dude, that's the most broken part about EOD. We just summoned EOD and we had zero power points. Now we get eight, almost nine power points after summoning EOD from the stuff we killed with the EOD. It's kind of crazy. Legolas level 10, Gimli level 10. Side by side as a friend, just like in the film. What a performance, boys. Demon performance. What I'm talking about, the demon. Oof, the Baldrock of Morgoth. Run. Swords and bows are no more useful here, man. Aragorn, you go ham. One does walk, simply walk into Rohan, Aragorn. Oh, he breath fired everything from Gondor too. Holy, I want to kill the Citadel. I, I don't want him to revive his heroes. Really? You, you want to fight with Baldrock against Aragorn? Aragorn can dance around the rules. Watch this. Can't touch this. They did it. They did it. They did it. They did it. Hey, how? How? How can you use this, man? There is a structure in front of you. Don't cheat. Nice. No more heroes for you. Look, Vip didn't even. Not even close to be killing him. You know what I mean? Now I'm gonna summon the ends. If Atelas, boom, regeneration, Badrock's time is gone. You, look, in those situations, you can see Badrock is not able to do what EOD can do. What Badrock did, he summoned Badrock on top of the army to kill the army from my ally. But it's not very good against heroes like EOD is. EOD is also only good against, you know, like heroes on food. But Badrock could have been like easily able to destroy a full camp here. Camps are easy to be destroyed. So Eisen should be using it more offensively, in my opinion. Hello, 
El Andy. I can switch formation. Never mind. Okay. Let's switch back. All right. All right. So far, so good, boys. So far, so good. It's gonna be the only Rohan. He's calling it GG. GG indeed, my friend. I had lots of fun actually during this game. <laughs> it was a really funny game for me. I mean, for me personally, maybe it's like frustrating to play against that. But, you know, I told you guys, Gimli is so underrated. Gimli is so underrated. Now you might say, but in 3v3 it's different story than in 1v1. No, it's not. Gimli only costs you 1900 points, okay? So it's like rushing Lourdes. Oh boy, what happened over there? It's like it's like rushing Lourdes or rushing, I don't know, like Eoma or something. You can save a bit more and you can rush uh, Gimli. Like there is a solid tactic. You basically play 1v1 with Rohan. You make lots of peasants at the beginning of the game to kind of keep harassing your opponent and keep um, you know, building more farms. And then you rush against factions like Mordor, for example. It's definitely val valuable because if Gimli gets level 5, you can outrun trolls you can chase them you can get away from them you can jump on them you can knock them down on the ground against Isengard the same thing there are heroes like Lourdes or Saruman that are causing trouble you can you know if trouble rises call a dwarf also my allies have EOD they are using devastation for the final t for the for the last time big healing coming Aragorn, almost level 9. I would like to get Aragorn level 10 too, but it's... I didn't pay too much attention to Aragorn. I was like, tunnel vision focused on what happened here. On my Gimli. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the Gimli show in this 3v3 match. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like to this video. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, my good friends... Stay beyond standards. Let's take a look into the units. We killed 427 units. And I believe more than 150 of them we killed only with Gimli. Gimli MVP.